Hey guys, so today I will be testing three different apps on your phone that are supposed to actually measure your heart rate by putting your finger up to the back of your iPhone camera. Sounds crazy, I know, but I think it's supposed to detect the very small changes in like your finger shape slash like it goes, you know, in and out um, that your heart rate causes. And it sounds pretty crazy to me, but it's supposed to work. So let's test these three apps out and I will give them a little review. The three apps are called Heart Rate Free, Heart Rate Light, and Weltery, Weltery. I'll be testing them against an actual pulse oxy. It's called Zach. U rate. I don't actually know what letter that is, uh, but anyway, I'll put this one also in the description, and this way I know if they're actually accurate. All right, so the first app that we will be testing is Heart Rate Free. For each test, I'm gonna lie down, measure it, and stand up and measure it so I can really see how quickly it changes versus my actual pulse oxy, and I'll be giving it a review. I took propranolol, so I'm probably not gonna feel too horrible after this, at least I hope not. Um, so yeah, I feel like if I hadn't taken any propranolol, then I might feel sort of horrible later, just because like if you do it so many times. So my Oxy says 89 and I just put on the finger thing. Let's see how long it takes. It's still saying zero. It says that they've detected a pulse, but it does not say what the pulse is yet. Oh, I was pushing too hard. Okay, so it seems to be around 91, 90. My pulse oxy is saying 86, 88, 89 actually, so now they're about the same. So I'd say lying down, it's pretty darn accurate. We are gonna stand up now and see how quickly, oopsie, I'm getting an ad. Oh, hold on everybody. No, a stupid ad. Come on. All right, exiting out, let's see. Dang it. Skip. Oh my gosh. So here's my review. It takes about maybe 15 seconds for it to actually get a reading, um, which is fine if you just wanna know what your heart rate is, then there's like not a problem or anything. But like, if you need to know quickly, such as let's say you're like, you know, using it to see how high your heart rate gets when you stand, so you know like what meds to take at the moment or something like that, I don't know. Also a big problem with it is that it just totally like, I'm wow, I'm actually getting brain fog from doing this. I was not expecting that. Um. The actual thing is, wait, um, so things just keep popping up though on the app as you're using it. So if you need to do something such as the test I just did here, like you can barely use it. But if you're just sitting still taking something like that'll be fine. If you're gonna be like moving a lot, this is not gonna work. Like you honestly need to stay completely still. You also need another hand to hold it because you, ha you, can, you have to like just barely rest it on there for it to detect it. So the next one I'll be doing is called Heart Rate Light. Um, let's see how well this one works. Hopefully it'll actually like not have things pop up while I stand up and see, you know, how it works, but who knows that might happen. Um, so let's see. If I call anything out, if you hear me call a number, that number is referring to the number that my pulse oxy currently has. Okay. So 82, and my pulse oxy said 81. And so that looks pretty accurate. All right, we're gonna do it again, and we're gonna stand up this time. Three times for free version per day. What? Okay, so it looks like heart rate light, you have a three measurement per day minimum. Yeah, um, I mean maximum. So, and then if you want anything more, you have to buy their premium. But just from what I can tell, I think that it can pick up your heart rate a lot quicker than the other one. First of all, because it actually started showing the like graph of my heart really quickly, whereas the other app, it was not doing that. Um, and so I just feel like that means it's starting to read it quicker. Also, there's a limited time amount on it. So it's like, I think it was like maybe 10 seconds or something. And so once it got to that point, it gave you your overall heart rate, which I'm pretty sure ended up just being the last beat that it detected like that distance between it because that just does seem to be what's happening i don't know um the reason it says three times is because i've done it a couple other times today just to make sure i could actually do these apps nothing popped up during the time that i was taking the reading whereas on heart rate free it was doing that things were popping up in the middle of the reading which is totally you know not helpful when you're trying to take a reading, especially because it takes a good 15 seconds for it to measure your heart rate. So, so far I would say, what's it called again? Heart rate light is currently better than heart rate free? What? Yes. There we go. Okay, so the one that we're doing now is called Well Tori. 
I'm kind of confused because I don't think I said that the first time when I read out the apps to you, so I have no idea what I said the first time, but I think it says Weltory, or am I am I missing this again? Am I struggling here? Yeah, Weltory, Weltory, who knows, whatever. Oh, okay, I didn't realize it was taking it. So it's best that's 85, and my thing also says 85. Now it says 72. Oh, now it's back to 82. All right, let's see, 90. Okay, Bob, that's super accurate. Let's see if we can stand up. Wow, it's not capturing it at all. My heart rate monitor says I'm at 115 and it's saying 89 on this one. 57, hun, this is not 57. I'd feel really great if it was. Okay, so with this app, well, at first it looked pretty cool because you actually can see your camera. Like if you put your finger there, it's showing you what the camera's seeing. And I can actually understand now how it's looking for those beats. What's weird about this app, first one, is that it's actually not showing you your heart rate when it was showing you those lines. Instead, it's just showing you like, you know, like how, how soon your heart's going. Like, sorry, it's showing your heart rate, but it's not actually showing what what the camera's capturing, if that makes sense. It seemed pretty accurate when I was lying down, and then when I stood up, and even though I really tried to keep the same pressure on my finger on the camera, um, it was so inaccurate. My pulse oxy was reading around like 115, 120, and my phone was saying my heart, it was like in the 50s. Sometimes it kept jumping to 75, but it was also not 75, and it was not even close to that, so, I don't really know what it was picking up, but it was not my heart rate. So, <clears throat> from all of this, let me give you a little review. Heart rate free. From what I understand, you can take your heart rate as many times as you want in the day. At least that's what it seemed like, but you had a heck ton of ads. There were a lot of ads popping up, including ads in the middle while you're trying to take your pulse. So let's say accuracy, I'll give it a five out of five. The amount of time it took to actually measure my heart rate, I'll give it a three out of five and just like app in total, like do I think you should get it? I give it a four out of five. The next one, heart rate light. I will give it a five out of five for accuracy. Um, for the amount of time it took to measure my heart rate, I'll also, I'll give it like a four out of five. And then overall, I mean, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of five, even though it has a limited amount of time. There was not a bunch of ads popping up like in the first app, and that means that they obviously have to put their money, like, you know, get money from somewhere. So I understand that they're doing like a premium as well. And that's where you get your money from. Like, that, sorry, and that's where they get their money from. So it's like understandable that they have to have a max. Um, but I'd say that one's probably my favorite. Um, and then lastly, Weltory, Weltory, how, whatever I called it before, I don't know. I'd say for accuracy, I'm gonna have to give it like a two out of five. Honestly, I'm just gonna go and give it a one out of five. Even though it was accurate when lying down, I mean, I was standing up for a good 45 seconds and at no point was it reading anything even close to accurate. For the amount of time it took to measure my heart rate, it actually seemed really fast. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Of course, it could have been the wrong heart rate, but still, it measured something. And then overall, I'm gonna have to give it a two out of five. It was just so inaccurate that I just feel like that's like not okay. And I changed finger positions. I was trying to make it, you know, like, you know, actually, you know, work. I don't know, uh, but clearly it did not. So I'd say that these things work if you don't have a medical condition, maybe you're looking for like your heart rate at the moment and you're like big on working out, but you're not like a professional or anything. You just wanna know about what it is. I'd say that these can definitely give you an estimate of what your heart rate is. But that being said, it could also be totally inaccurate, such as the last one. It was just so inaccurate, but hopefully you'd be so inaccurate that like you'd know it was inaccurate, but that's not necessarily true. I think that if you have a medical condition and you need to be measuring your heart rate, you need to be using a pulse oxy or something that's like an actual device that's not your phone's camera to test what your heart rate is because this could really be inaccurate and you know, you don't want to go to your doctor thinking you have some like horrible tachycardia, for example, if it's saying your heart rate's like 250 and in reality it's like 120. I mean, you'd probably be able to tell the difference, but you know what I'm trying to say. And then also, if you're like a big time athlete and you're actually trying to figure out what your heart rate is, you're not just like somebody who, you know, works out for fun. Um, if you're really setting like dramatic goals, I would not trust this at all. But overall, I still think that this is like a really cool app. I feel like they'll probably get more accurate as time goes on. Um, so that's like interesting. I'm really excited to see, you know, how these types of apps do. Um, and let me know if you use one. 
All right, uh, this wasn't a vlog today. This was just a regular video, um, but more vlogs probably tomorrow. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye.